Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now here comes the most important job of the leaves. That is leaves prepare food and without food plants can't survive. And this process is called photosynthesis. So green plants prepare their own food by photosynthesis. As I said, photo means light. So this food is prepared in presence of light. And what happens during the process of photosynthesis? So during photosynthesis, we see that food is prepared in the form of glucose. So glucose is the main product of photosynthesis. So let's see what exactly happens in this process of photosynthesis. Now there are certain things that are needed for photosynthesis to take place. So the raw materials which are needed for photosynthesis, the first requirement is chlorophyll. Because if chlorophyll is not there, photosynthesis will not happen. So chlorophyll is the green colored pigment which is present in the leaves of the plant. And this green pigment, what do they do? They utilize the energy of the sun. That is why we say that it, the process takes place in presence of sunlight. So they utilize the solar energy or the sunlight energy which is stored in the sunlight. The next requirement is sunlight. If sunlight is not there, so what will chlorophyll do? It will not be able to do anything. Third requirement is water. So water is again uh, a, a, a substance which is needed for photosynthesis to happen and this is the reason we keep watering the plant every day so if you stop watering a plant for say three four days what happens the plants start drying up and eventually the plant would die so plants receive water through the soil the fourth requirement is carbon dioxide and how do the plants get carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide is present in the atmosphere. So the plants would get the carbon dioxide through the stomata on their leaves. That is the tiny pores on their leaves. So that's how they would get carbon dioxide. Okay. So once all these raw materials are there, then what happens? Then the process of photosynthesis happens. So let's see what exactly happens during this process. Now we have all of these. So overall what happens is the carbon dioxide will combine with the water and this process will happen in presence of sunlight and the presence of chlorophyll is also must because chlorophyll help, helps to absorb the energy stored in sunlight and that energy enables this reaction to take place. So carbon dioxide will combine with water to form C6H12O6 and this is nothing but glucose. And along with this, oxygen will be released and a lot of energy will also be released. So this oxygen will be thrown out again through the stomata. So basically you see stomata takes in carbon dioxide. So plants take in carbon dioxide and plants give out carbon dioxide as a result of photosynthesis. Now this glucose which is formed is the food that is stored in the plants. Now it is not stored in the form of glucose, it is stored in a more different form that is many glucose molecules they combine together to form something called starch. And the food is stored in the leaves of the plants in the form of starch. So does that mean that starch is always present in leaves? Yes, indirectly that's what I told. I told that leaves perform photosynthesis, they produce glucose, many glucose combine together to form something like starch and starch is present in the leaves as food. So basically the food of the plant is present in the form of starch. Now if you say that how do I know that starch is present in leaves? So let's perform the iodine test. You remember in one of our previous lessons we learned that there are techniques by which we can decide whether a particular substance contains carbohydrates or not and starch is an example of carbohydrate. So the test to detect the presence of starch is iodine test. So how do we perform iodine test? We take a leaf, we take an iodine solution that is how do we prepare iodine solution? We pour few drops of iodine into water and then we get the iodine solution. Now when we put few drops of this iodine solution on the leaf what should happen if starch is present? Now, if there is a bluish black color, 
on adding the iodine solution this blue black color indicates the presence of starch that is what we had learned in iodine test right now when you actually perform this iodine test on leaves you see that the result is positive which says that starch is present in leaves so we have experimentally proved that food is prepared by the plants in the leaves and the food is stored in the leaves in the form of starch thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.